Hey everybody, it's Larry the Fairy here for DBTV, Texas's premier media source for all things LGBTQIA+. And we are here at the Iconic Rose Room for their first ever drag brunch, kicking off the Pride Parade, which starts in just a few hours. So let's go check out the drag brunch and then we're gonna go check out the Pride Parade. Come with me. Cassie Nova, the hostess with the Moses, and the brains behind Rose Room's first ever drag brunch. Can you tell us how the first ever drag brunch came about? Yes, we decided to have one. That's amazing, that's genius. It's innovative, iconic. Well, why should everybody else keep making all the damn brunch money? I want in on it. Agreed, well, and this is like, when you think Dallas drag, you think Rose Room. So why not incorporate drag brunch and iconic drag. Exactly, and uh, we're trying to feature different local uh, restaurants to cater uh, this event. Like today, we're being uh, sponsored by Big Al's Barbecue, which is absolutely amazing. But we are open to like different venues that might want to come in and and like give us a deal, and like we could do brunch with other places. That'd be awesome. I'd like a sushi brunch. Oh. No, I wouldn't. That's not true. That just gave me bubble guts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat sushi when I got a tuck. You don't want to mess with your sushi roll. A California roll because of the crabs. I'm so pleased with the turnout. Like, like when we first put it together, I was a little worried, like, because there's so many brunches, like, you know, uh, how, how will ours do? But uh, they showed up today. Like, it's packed out there. And they are tipping well. They are having a good time. Not to mention the show is phenomenal. We got something for everybody. That's amazing. You and I are about to go MC the parade. Are you excited? I'm so excited, except I guarantee you they're going to use small print and I'm going to have to get my Nana glasses on because... Well, as far as I know, I'm going to be running around like in the parade, so I'm about to go be doing some cardio. Oh. That's why I wore my short shorts. Well, you could use a little cardio. <laughs> I could use a lot of cardio. <laughs> How long have you been cleaning up poop? 30 years. We welcome you. Thank you. Adam. I'm Say hi to your fans. We love you. Are y'all having a good time today? Yeah. What are y'all's names? My name is Leslie. Alexis. Alexander. That's Alexander. Hey, Alexander. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming today. Thank y'all. Yes. All right, y'all make some noise. Tell everybody your name. Kayla. Thank you for being here.
Where can they find y'all on the regular basis? Here at TMC. Yeah, yeah. Friday every month here at TMC. Give him a bath, honey. Yes, God. with a condom. A lot of you have forgotten what a condom is. Can you tell everybody your name? Safe Sex. Safe Sex. We're with Resource Center. I'm Jennifer with a G and we're having a great time. Yay! Thank you for being here, everybody. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride. We're feeling fabulous. Happy Pride, Dallas. We love y'all. We'll get you for an interview afterwards. I'm here with the one, the only, the iconic, the legendary, oh my God. Betty Neal. He's iconic. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, first of all, Larry, thank you so much for what you do for the community with your communication, your podcast, your commentary, and your social media pages. Well, those are dope to me. I follow you everything. I've been following you for years. Likewise. have been friends for years. Yes. Uh, so let me get that out there right off the bat. Yeah. And this is only to give the community something back within their own community where the shops and the retail and the businesses are, and the bars are all catered to the LGBTQ community. 100%. And that's, that's the only reason I do it. I do it for the people. Yeah. For the community. For the culture. Absolutely. <laughs> do it for the culture, baby. I do it for the culture. <laughs> and you do it so well. <laughs> and I try. We appreciate try. you so much. I like having you here. I like having the media here. I love the Dallas Voice, Tammy, Leo, and Larry. You add such flavor to the page. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It's, it's dope. It's dope. Tell everybody where they can check out any of your other ventures, podcasts, etc. Uh, I got a et podcast. It's called On the Stuff with Betty and Bowlegs every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. This week, our special guest is Eternity, a former Miss I Can't Believe I'm in Drag, and one of my dear friends, Eric Rutherford. Uh, we have tw trans man, Twan, Twan Shakur, coming up. He was in the parade. He drove the truck for a bounty prosperity. Uh, hopefully, I can get Camille Lamore and... Uh, Tamara Stephanie from Abounding Prosperity to be on the show. And Cassie Nova. I really want Cassie Nova on there. I really want Cassie Nova on there. She's just such a presence. And, and I'm working on Tasha Cole. Ooh, so it's just, yes. and then I have um, my uh, YouTube channel, On the Stuff with Betty, Facebook, Betty Neal, Threads, Instagram. You can find me. Look at me. I'm Nobody's looks like this. There's, there's, there's the one there. and the only. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> and when you have pride in the middle of a gayberhood, it's like the cement that keeps everyone coming back, staying together. Our voice stays strong, and we're all able to help fight the good fight to keep our rights. And that's what this is all about, keeping our rights. And we fight for our rights. And we're going to be fighting for a long time. This fight's not over. It actually seems to be harder this year than ever before. It was, but we worked through it all, right? Absolutely. And we're still working through it. There's still more fighting left to do. And all the other organizations are getting together to keep the good fight going. But we're doing our part, right? Register to vote, everybody. We've got the block party coming up. Oh, the Halloween block, block party. party. My yeah. favorite of the whole year. <laughs> DBTV will be covering that as well. October Saturday, right? October 28th, yes. Here on the Strip. You guys don't want to miss it's it. It's going to be bigger and better and more fabulous. 100%. I and Larry's wait. gonna be there. Yes, you will catch us both there. Oh, the, did you like the the new drag brunch today? Oh my God, drag brunch today was amazing. Was it good? It was so much fun. We oh. had such a good time. They're gonna start doing it every two weeks now. Awesome, count me in. All right, sounds good. Y'all, yeah. 
we just had the most fun Pride ever, okay? This was the second annual Pride in Dallas here on the Cedar Springs trip. As you can see, the barricades are broken. The street sweepers are smoking, honey. They're getting everything cleaned up. We had a good old time. If you didn't make it to the drag brunch in the Rose Room before the parade, the drinks were flowing. Everything was fun. We're all here celebrating love. We're here celebrating peace, okay? And I just want to thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Larry the Fairy here for the Dallas Voice TV. From the local scene to your digital screen, honey. Bye. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the treason. January 6th reference. <laughs>